King Charles and Queen Camilla are hosting members of the royal family in Sandringham today. Conversations surrounding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex or Netflix will be strictly off-limits over Christmas among the royals gathered in Sandringham, one royal expert believes. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry and their six-part docuseries have been described as almost a nuclear radioactive subject that could leave, in tears, royals, author Adam Helica claimed. He wrote in The Sun, I think if it's one guarantee you can make, it's that the subject, which will not be raised, is anything to do with Harry and Meghan or Netflix. It's spoiled enough of their days so far, especially Charles and Camilla's early days as new king and queen. It's almost a nuclear radioactive subject. Anything to do with it is going to end in tears really. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex launched blistering allegations against Buckingham Palace and individual members of the royal family in their recently released documentary titled Harry and Meghan. The programme included Harry speaking of a dirty game, including constant briefings about other members of the family, about favours, inviting the press in. He also claimed the royal communications offices partake in leaking and planting of stories adding he found it heartbreaking that his brother would embrace this habit. In the fourth episode of the documentary, the Duke of Sussex claimed, so if the comms team want to be able to remove a negative story about their principal, they will trade and give you something about someone else's principal. So the offices end up working against each other. The Duke also alleged William screamed and shouted at him during a summit held in Sandringham with then Prince Charles and the late Queen in January 2020 to thrash out the exit terms of the Sussexes from the firm. In perhaps his most damaging claim, Harry also alleged the palace put his name on a joint statement without him being asked to quash an article saying William's bullying had driven out the Sussexes of the firm. He said, within four hours, they were happy to lie to protect my brother, and yet for three years, they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. The royal family are also bracing ahead of the release of Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. While the content of the book will remain strictly under wraps until its publication date on January 10, royal watchers believe it could include criticism of King Charles in particular if Harry discusses his upbringing. Today, the royal family will focus on spending time together on the first Christmas since the death of Queen Elizabeth II. King Charles and Queen Camilla are hosting some of their closest relatives at Sandringham House today. Abiding by the tradition launched by the late Queen in the 1980s, when the firm stopped celebrating Christmas in Windsor, the monarch and his wife will head to church accompanied by family members for the main Christmas morning service held at St. Mary Magdalene Church. King Charles was already spotted in public this morning as he attended an early service. Later today, Charles and Camilla will host a lavish lunch at Sandringham House, while the Sussexes are expected to spend their day privately in California.